Hello everybody, this is Cubby Hyena, and we're going to play some Gems of War! Yeah, still trying to figure out this, I've got a new phone. Uh, I believe you can hear me, if I'm too loud, I am sorry, because I am just using the mic that is built into my phone. So, we're going to play this until I get a customer, because I am at work. We <laughs> shouldn't be doing this at work, but you know when you're Alright, so I have all of the territories unlocked in the first area. It is currently snowing on wire. Let's see, this is the underworld. I have a few that I need to unlock still. But that's okay. So I am level 107. That'll be high enough. My guild, the Zenkai. And this is my stats for that. Right now, we are all trying to pitch in for the green task, which I have enough to finish that. I don't know, That's complete. Awesome. And now it's on um, a event key. Hmm. I don't really want the event key just yet. I would like to do the green. And just like that, I'm broke. So if I'm having a lot, it's almost nothing. So check my mail. The task that I just bought was two items. So let's do a... You go to games, the task... And if you hear music in the background, roughly it doesn't sound like it's part of the game. I'm listening to my remix, uh, My Little Point. Yeah. Extra turn. Thanks. <laughs> Extra turn. So I usually do this to get, um, as you can see on the right, there are the awards you can get. I'll use this to get up my um, souls. I'll do this to get some more gold or some keys, some glory. And I've been playing this game for like five months before I realized I could do a treasure hunt. I'm like, what is this? Extra turn. And then I went, oh, yeah. I'm gonna get a two Extra turn. Oh, where the dude? Then I get text. Extra <laughs> turn. Alright. This is a mobile app. So I do have this game on my PS4. I rarely play it on my PS4. Right now I am super busy playing Stardew Valley. Trying to marry a lovely girl. Normally I marry her brother. I apologize if you randomly hear me start singing because I love this song that's currently playing. <laughs> so every time turn. you get the extra turn, is it? if you match, I don't have any. Oh, here's a, a four by four. Now a four. It doesn't. You don't lose a life. You don't lose a life. Um, if you match five or more. Get extra turn. Uh, you don't know where I'm gonna go because you can't see where my finger is. I'm only gonna do this for a few seconds. Go away! Stop extra texting me! Turn. Hopefully, you guys don't end up seeing that. Extra turn. Alright, so I'm just going to get rid of my left turns. So break all on. I just wanted to show you guys. Yes, I'm ignoring the. You could have gotten an extra turn. You can get an extra turn right there. Right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm purposely playing the way I am now, which is pretty bad, just so that I can get past this and 
to do a match real quick. I think allows. Yeah, I got loud. <laughs> and I apologize if I'm loud. I'm trying not to like be loud. But I can play again if I wanted to because I do have more treasure maps. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit leave. And then let's pick an area. So this is the first one that when you load, you get the game. This is the one that is. I'm gonna tap on explore, and then I'm gonna show you my team. I really do like this game. I'll play it a couple hours every day. So what just happened is that this guy, Reed, whenever start battles with full mana, so he's already able to do his special. Also, explode a brown gem at the start of battle. So he came into the room and just blew up those gems, which gave me one for... gave me one gem for him, which, by the way, this is my favorite guy. Steal four armor and four attack from all enemies. And gain two life on four or five gem matches. Immune to all status effects, devour, and mana burn. Uh, and then reflect 50 of skull damage, 50% of skull damage. So when one of these guys on the right hand side, which I'm battling against, when they attack him, just him, not the guy above him, when they attack Gloomleaf, he gives them half of what they damaged him with. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh this guy's pretty good too. Ancient Horror. He's got all of his things unlocked. The only one on my team that's not all unlocked is this guy. And you can see that the ones that have the little lock next to the name, those are not unlocked. I still need to unlock Water Link and Armored. Those would be nice. So I do like um, his attack because he does true damage, which if you notice on the right and the left where it has a shield and then a number, and then a shield, and then, sorry, and then 14. That's how, so the six is the, how strong his shield is. Because I'm looking at Bloom Leaf, right, uh, Greed right now. The 16, oh, sorry, 16, where's 16 at, dude? No. The six next to the shield, that's how much shield he has. The 14 next to the heart, that's how much health he has. The 11 next to the two swords, that's his attack power. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just do his, which make sure you know, and then hit. So he gives you an extra turn, and as you can tell now, if I can click on him, his health went up. That's what his does. It gain gold equal to my life. Gain six life. Gain an extra turn. So now I have 14 gold up at the top. And that. And then I get to go again. So let's go ahead and attack. Now that I'm done. Okay, so a fun fact about the the skull that has the horns and the plus five. A normal if I match the skulls under him that don't have that, that are that were blinking just now, I'll do uh, five damage. I do this, I do sixty. Because it's essentially taking your your attack and then you know bumping it up by so now I got more gold, gave him more health, and I'm gonna do the four by red. And because I wanna get bloom leaks up so I can start stealing those guys with armor. But so we're just gonna focus on the red. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that if you have two characters that are using the same um, gem types, like this one is the purple and the green, and this one is the red and the green. If I select the green, watch what happens. Mana surge. Only green got the green. Now, if here, let me get him to get him maxed out. See how it went down a little bit to um, Bloomleaf? That's because he he was already at his maximum. Yeah. Mana 
surge. Go and grab it. Essentially, any parents I can, I try to use his. I'm already at max gold, but that's fine. He's essentially the one I use to. Um, he's essentially far. Where I put him at the front of the the battle formation, and if he dies, ain't worried about it because I'm trying to get this one to do his a couple times before he's at the front line. Got rid of that. If I tank, no tank, you. <laughs> okay. So I didn't do anything. To Except give me more fire. Thanks, though, I guess. Let's see. Let's do that. And now you see uh, this gaping maw right here. I'll go ahead and do that. And then his is deal 13 damage to an enemy, gain 6 to a random skill if the enemy dies. So his random skill will go either to his attack, his armor, or his health. So we'll go ahead and hit cast, and then we get to pick our enemy. Let's go with this fire horse right here. Bam! Now, if the horse had died, uh, he would have gotten his bonus for the horse. Just barely. Let's see. All I can do is right here. That. Enemy is gonna do <laughs> which benefits me. I'm going to go since I get doing a match of five, a match of four gives you an extra turn. Come into this one, and then you want to look at your enemies when you select his and see what kind will do the most damage. I'm gonna go ahead and go with. Earth. That way I can attack both of them. And then that happens. <laughs> this. Now sometimes greed makes it to the end of the fight. Not only this. I just want to show you his what he does. And it's always random. So you switch the time. He gained more health. Mana surge. Finally. Oh, he's ready to do his thing too. Oh, that's nice. We're gonna take your armor. Also, another thing with Boom Leaf is when he does hit special, he also takes a little bit of the enemy's um, attack. He had eight, now he only has four. Let's see. Go ahead and just grab this. Uh, dead. Yeah, and then unless they leave. So this is essentially it. And your guild can get you, like, glory. You can skip it if you want. I usually don't skip it. If I'm playing this while I'm at work, I'll just set it to unlock all my chests, and then I'll walk away and do something. Because earlier, I sh should have recorded earlier, I have the gem keys, which is the upper left, where you can kind of see a skull stuck to a wall. A skeleton stuck to the wall, sorry. I had three in that one. I had two event keys, which is the one next to the uh, gems. Glory keys, I had like 30. And the gold keys, which is this one, I had 399 keys. So yeah, so I did, because the things on the bottom where it says open one chest for 300 gold, open 10 chests for 3,000 for, yeah, 3, gold, Open 50 chests for 15,000 gold. The one that says open 50 chests for 15,000, 
that one said open 200 chests because I had 200 keys. So I opened the 200 chests, and then when I went back in, it said open 199. If you don't have keys, it'll ask for gold, depending on what you're looking at. Ask for root gems, ask for gems, uh, glory, guild. I have a thousand one. Ooh, I can open the key. I'm gonna hold off on that. And then if you were VIP, which I'm not, you can get the VIP chips. But that's, uh, Gems of War. Awesome. I love this game.